the ties on it. It's a little hard to explain, visualize, but it worked out pretty good. So now I have two pieces of wire and I stripped the uh, plastic off the tips so that I could have access to it to attach my uh, little project box where the wires come out of that. And that's pretty much it. This one particular one, like I say, that's the only one that has the large hole because this is the place where uh, the wire is uh, made contact with my little project box. This is on the driver end. On the reflector end, it's just one continuous loop. I measured the wire precisely for the dimensions that, that uh, I got off a uh, online. Uh, it it, it told me told me how much a wire I needed. Excuse me. Um, so basically, what I did was on that I just exposed an inch because this is a. a Basically, it's an inch across, so I exposed an inch of copper on each one. I overlaid it, I soldered it, and slid it inside of this through the hole so it actually is going to be covered up, it won't be exposed to the weather. And then I put the pull ties, one on each side, so that the reflector part is basically done. When the wire is strung around through all the tips and put inside, that's the reflector end, and the driven end. Pretty much it's the same deal, only the wires that soldered inside. This much wire from the center to the outside is pulled through the hole, it's locked in place, and now we have the two little connections that we need to put onto a project box. The jig worked very well. I'm glad that I, I had the idea to do it because it would have been a real mess if I hadn't had something uh, to make it so they all come out uniform. Uh, there's one thing I wanted to show you, and I should have got it out. Excuse me just a second. Okay, this is the project box, and if you look at the website, you will see it there. Basically, it's just an aluminum box, uh, the smallest I could find. I picked it up at a, a local electronics store, and uh, I put a connector on an SO239 on one end, drilled out the four body screws and bolted it in place. I ran wires into it, soldered it to this SO239 connector for your coaxial to go on to. I put a couple of rubber grommets here so that the wire doesn't chafe and it seals it, keeps the weather out, and right beside those two grommets I put two little uh, connections that are screwed in and what happens is that I take a piece of uh, maybe three inch long RG58 uh, braid. I took the center wire out, I slid it down here, and I made a solder connection to each one of these so that uh, the only thing that's going to be as the antenna is the wire that's exposed, is it covered up with the shielding. And this is how I adjust the SWR by expanding or, or bringing it further in. Once I've made my connections and, and I use SWR meter, it really worked good. It's a pretty, pretty simple thing, but uh, the first one I just put the braid right out to where it connects uh, because it all it's all measured. I soldered that in place and because I had some shrink tubing over the top of it to, to keep the weather out. The other side basically I did the same thing. Shrink tubing uh, went over the braid. Once I had the uh, connection made here, uh, I basically sealed that and then the braid went over the top and I adjusted the braid in or out until I got my lowest SWR rating and it was probably where I wanted it about uh, 28.4 for the 10 meter band uh, I got about a 1 to maybe a 1 to 1.4 uh, there was a point that it was a little bit higher in frequency that I had it uh, 1 to 1 and uh, that was probably because I messed up measuring the wire if I measured it very precisely like uh, the information I got off the, uh, the web, uh, it probably would have been right there where I, I set the thing up for uh, 28.4. It's a cute little thing. Actually, I put a couple of little small U-bolts I picked up at the hardware store, and these will go over the fiberglass rod and mount just below that connection point. I just set it down and lock it in place, and uh, I think the last time I did this, I a while ago, I uh, sealed up the outside, uh, covered the braid up with some black 
tape because I didn't want the weather to corrode that as best as I could. Uh, that's about it on that part of it. This, like I say, this is the second uh, in a series on this uh, project. I'm not going to be able to show you everything that I show online on the website, but sometimes having a little visual as to what's going on uh, makes the bells go off. Uh, it, it helps. So I thought I'd do this little video and, and help explain basically one of the, mainly these tips. These tips were very hard to explain. So uh, in the next uh, episode, I'm going to talk about how I measured the wire off. So we'll see you a little later and uh